Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's Webpack 2 tutorial, you will learn how to load your images through CSS or your template and how to use the file loader inside of your Webpack config. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now we will have a look how we could include images inside of our CSS or template. And for that we will use two loaders. One is called image webpack loader and one is file loader. Okay, so let's start with the file loader. All we want to do is if we include image inside of our CSS, we are seeing it on the page. And for that we need the file loader. So let's quit the build and install it. And this loader will simply scan all our files and wherever we are referencing another file, it will try to load it inside of our dist folder. Okay, so let's try to add a background image. And I'll add my PNG of my logo. And we want to put it to the center of the page. And if we save it and run the build, we will get an error that we need appropriate loader. Okay, so the page might load, but it's broken in the build. And the reason is because you may need appropriate loader to handle this file. Okay, so Webpack doesn't know what to do with the PNG. So let's try to fix it and simply go to the Webpack config, scroll down and we'll test for the .png. So we'll change that to PNG and we'll use the file loader. Okay, so let's see if this will fix it. Save the Webpack config, quit the build, run it again. And we should see the page having the logo on it. Okay, so you see the image is there. I forgot to set the CSS to no repeat. And that should make it only in the center. And if we look at it side by side and remove the no repeat, you'll see that the hot reloading is still working and the image, the style of the image is changing straight away without refreshing the page. So we've got still hot module replacement working and now we're loading the image from inside of the CSS. And now we'll have a look how to include it into the template. Okay, so let's open the index HTML. So considering that this is our template inside of the Webpack config, we'll make sure that we're using the HTML version as our template. We'll get to the pack templates a little bit later. And inside of the index HTML, let's try to include simply image the way you are used to SRC. And then we'll try to point to images and our HTML5 logo. Now let's see if we quit the build, build it again, what happens with our file? Is it loaded, is it not? Okay, so something's happening. We'll see the missing image and couple warnings, fail to load image underscore HTML5 SVG. So the reason is because this is SVG and we only testing the file loader for PNG. Okay, so if we would change this to SVG, that would work or we can use the pipe to spread a different, to include a different file names. And if I go to the image webpack loader, there is even more bulletproof test, which tests for JPEG, PNG, GIF and SVG. So let's copy this whole test and replace it with ours. That means that all the mostly common, most commonly used file names are covered. And then we use the file loader. Okay, so save that, run the build again. And we still don't see the image. So let's inspect it again and try to figure out why is it not loading. Let's go back to the index HTML. Here we've got the default HTML syntax and looks like we need to change it to use the 
require okay so we need to require the file instead of using the standard HTML syntax for the source for source file so let's change it and instead of image source we'll just cut that string out and we'll use the EJS templating syntax and inside of it will require the image okay so we just cut it out the string and wrapped it around the require and if you remember from my previous videos we've used the same syntax for the title dynamic title now we are requiring the image and if I quit the build run it again we will finally see the image in the browser both PNG coming from the CSS and HTML or SVG coming from the HTML are displayed on the page which is perfect now let's try to run the production mode and see where the files are saved they should be automatically copied to the dist folder here they are SVG and PNG and they, they, the file name is automatically changed to a hash which we can configure inside of the config so this is how you include it and now we will have a look how to configure a couple options to modify where these files are saved and what the file name is we are using file loader for loading our images through webpack so let's have a look at the usage and some of the option let's say we want to keep the names of the file exactly the same and also the location of them exactly the same okay so we can define the file name template and we can use a name path name and extension okay so this option will keep the image structure image name and the folder structure exactly the same as how we calling it or saving it from the source file so if we copy that and paste it inside of our webpack config see how it change okay so we'll paste it after the file loader exclamation mark and then we pasting all the options okay so we're defining the name of the file to be the path name and dot extension now let's save the file quit the build and run it again we've got still the two images loading which is cool and we need to run the prod to see the folder structure so npm run prod should clean the disk and then import all the images in the same folder structure it copies the images with the original file name and also keeps the structure how they are included okay so the original image is under source images and obviously we don't want to duplicate the whole path we only want to use the images folder okay so for that we can instead of the path remove that so we're just keeping the file name and after that we can define the output path and output path equals images okay so this will save that image with the original file name inside of images folder inside of the test let's see if it's working save it run the production mode again and we should see that this folder and inside of it two images with the original file name inside of images folder okay so this is how you define custom output path keep the name and if you like the hash name you can keep it as a hash and after long you can define the length of the characters okay so the hash is automatically generated if we include hash 12 the file name will be shortened to 12 characters and if you include six then it will be shorter okay so that's just a matter of preference you get the point and the last thing we'll have a look in this video is how to optimize the images before they are saved into the dist folder and for that we will use the image webpack loader so let's install that npm install image webpack loader and save it to the dependencies i will also change it back to name so we can compare the two files the original and the saved one 
So I'm changing the name of the file to stay as the original one. And now we can include another loader for all our JPEG, PNG and GIF files. Okay, so we need to wrap this in an array. So in a square brackets, comma after the file loader, I will put it on two lines. And the second loader we want to include will be the image webpack loader. As you know, all the loaders are loaded or are used from the first one to the last one. Okay, so the order of the loaders matters. So we firstly want to optimize the image and then save it into the destination folder. Okay, so the order of these matters and we'll simply run this with the default options and see how the files are different. Okay, I'll save it. npm run prod. We should see the name of the file change to the original one. And now we can compare the files inside of this original images folder and the dist images folder. For that, I've got a useful beyond compare application. If I refresh it, you'll see that the files are different. The SVG, the HTML5 SVG is almost half of the size and the PNG used to be 6.5 and now it's 5.6. So both of the files in the dist folder have been optimized and you can define custom options by going through these object, you can define how much you want to compress the JPEG, how much you want to compress the PNGs, how to optimize the SVG. So I'll let you to explore all the options. Here is a config, how you use all these options inside of the Webpack 2. Now let's go back to VS Code and we'll need to have a look at few things regarding the output path. Okay, we define the output path to be images and that is the folder where the image is saved. But inside of the HTML, it links to just the image file name .png. Okay, so the HTML file doesn't know where the file is saved. So for that, we need to define one more path, which is called public path. Okay, if we go to the documentation of file loader, you'll see that public path needs to be defined together with the output path. And so let's copy the public path and define it using the ampersand public path equals images. And if we save that, we should see this image tag source reference being updated once we run the npm run prod. So let's try to do that. We've got the files regenerated and if we look at the index HTML, files are at the right spot and index HTML reference to the file is also updated. If we open this in a new browser window, we'll see that the image is loaded from inside of the images folder, which is what we wanted. Okay, so remember that you need to define both public path and output path. Now let's check the dev mode, npm run dev. Again, we should see both images loaded and because they are served from memory, the path should be correct as well. Okay. The last thing we can do inside of the Webpack config, instead of defining both output and public path the same, if they are the same, you can simply omit that and write the path in front of the file name. I will keep the old code there for you, but for now we can remove the output and public path and simply define images slash name and extension, and this will define both public and output paths at the same time. Now let's do a last health check of our Webpack config. Let's run the npm run dev, make sure the images are loading. And the same for the npm run prod. We are just checking whether the images are saved in the right folder and the reference inside of the index HTML is correct too. Perfect. Now we've got everything covered. So to recap, you can either use one folder in front of the name dot extension or define custom output and public path.
And that's it all for today. Now you know how to use the file loader to load your images through Webpack 2. If you have any questions related to Webpack 2, let me know in the comments. I would like to hear your questions. Hope you've learned something new and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.